let us continue with our lesson over here and let's go and learn about the two useful method in our the uh, provider over here once you make use of the ref over here you have an option to make use of the ref dot the invalidate over here or to make use of the ref dot the refresh over here and let's try to go and understand how does it work and what's the difference between them and when we should use it over here so let's get started over here first we will try to make use of the ref dot the invalidate over here and if you go and read the documentation over here invalidate the state of the provider causing it to refresh over here which basically means it goes and refresh or clears your uh, the state catch over here and if you go and read more as opposed to the refresh the refresh is not immediate and instead delayed to the next read basically which means that once you read the provider again it's going to refresh that or in the next frame basically if you have some the ref dot the watch or ref dot the listen it's going to listen on the next frame over here calling the invalidate multiple time will refresh the provider only once so even you call it multiple times it's going to just go and refresh it a single time over here and calling the invalidate will cause the provider to dispose immediately which basically means that the provider dispose method is immediately called over here and if you use on a provider which is not initialized if the provider is not initialized which basically means if you haven't watched it this method will have no effect right so if if you haven't watched that uh, provider or if you haven't listened to that particular provider and if you just go and invalidate it that's not going to do anything right because the, there is no on the state or there is no catch version of that particular provider and if you want to refresh it there is no point of refreshing it right because you haven't listened it or you haven't watched it so let's just go and see how does it work actually let's go and rebuild our application over here and you can see that the screen has been built and then our view model has been built over here let's just go and add the let's try to add the new user over here and let's just give us some random uh, email and let's try to add this one over here and you can see that we don't get any of the catch version of that particular user right so once we uh, listen to the success of the added user we are we went and invalidated that particular provider which basically means we refresh the state of that particular provider and we see the empty list even if we have successfully added that one over here so this caused the the build or the view model to call the build method again or if you go and see over here and okay sorry for that it should be here you'll see that this has been built and the dispose has been called right can see that the view model dispose method is called and then it has been reinitialized which basically means that it called the build method over here again so let's go back to our add screen over here and i hope you understand uh, i hope you got the idea on what does this particular rift or the invalidate does for us and next let's just go and uncomment this one and i'll just go and comment out the invalidate over here and if you go and read the documentation for this one you'll see that they force the provider to re-evaluate its state immediately and return the created value which basically means now it's going to re-evaluate the state immediately previously in the invalidate it was not immediate refresh right it, it's going to wait for the next read or the next uh, the frame right but in case of the ref dot the re, uh, ref dot the refresh you will see that it's the immediate the if effect is immediate and return the created value and it's going to return that particular value for you or the default state or whatever state has been created it's going to return it back to you so you can see how you can use it you need to grab that particular value and call the ref dot the refresh over here and um, in strictly identical of doing this one ref dot the invalidate and then you are going to read a new value right so this is same so if you make use of the ref dot the refresh is the same as ref dot invalidate your provider and then reading it immediately so that is the same thing of doing the ref dot the refresh over here there is no difference on if you go and ref dot the invalidate your provider which we just saw and then reading it immediately it's the same thing of doing the ref dot the 
refresh it just adds some synthetic sugar that's all right and uh, you can just go and read this particular documentation uh, the recommended way of understanding it more is to read go and read the documentation over here and if you do not care about the return value right which is of refresh that's going to return the value use the uh, invalidate instead right so doing so has the benefit of making the invalidate uh, invalidation logic more uh, resilient by avoiding the multiple refresh at once uh, possibly avoids the computation a provider computing a provider if it hasn't uh, if it is isn't needed immediately so that is the case it uh, is recommended to use the ref dot the invalidate if you don't want to read the value right or, or you can just go and invalidate and read it again that's also the same thing as the ref dot the refresh over here this method is useful for the feature like pull to refresh or retry on error to restart the specific provider so if you want to restart some specific provider you can just go and call this one as well so you can see the example pull to refresh or retry on error so there is also some like the example over here if you want to go and read all of the documentation over here and make sure to go and uh, read the documentation in the repo part itself so in the repo part uh, dot the dev you'll find the um, what's the difference between the ref dot the refresh and ref dot the invalidate make sure to go and read this particular documentation and you will get more idea about it so let's go back and let's try to do it some practical uh, way over here and let's try to go and call this one uh, ref dot refresh and it's going to return us the state and let's go and log the state of the user over here let me just go and rebuild the application let's go over here and let me add uh, some uh, the demo user let's add the age and then the email let's add the user now we can see that it uh, went and disposed the view model itself and it uh, rebuilt the view model right the build method is called and then we got the empty list of the user which is the default case right the list of the user which returns us the empty list that's perfectly fine and then it calls the uh, the build method of our screen so that's the thing that we need to do so ref dot the invalidate these are two useful really really useful and once you are building the application it's really required sometime you want to just go and clear out the uh, provider or refresh the provider there are a lot of the use case that you want to actually make use of invalidate or the refresh and uh, that's all for this particular lesson and make sure to go and read out the documentation to understand more let's meet up in the next one till then have a great day